All right, welcome everyone to tonight's opportunity call. Um, just want to thank you all for taking time out to join us as we deliver some important and some very um, good information to you guys who are thinking about or are planning to join our business. Um, just to give you some details, we are a network marketing company and we are a part of a global company called It Works Global. It's a health and beauty company. It's been around since 2001. In 2008, the company became debt free, which is awesome. A lot of times you hear about these companies going under because they owe a bunch of loans and they owe a bunch of investors, but our company is actually debt free as of 2008. And the company actually teaches their distributors to become debt free as well. Um, they are just um, that debt free is the new sexy. So it's all about coming in, making money, paying off debt and living the good life. Okay, you guys, um, the reason that our company treats us so good and they're able to pay so many bonuses, which we'll get into later, is because they're debt free. They don't owe anybody. So all the money that comes from profits is split up between the distributors. Our main focus and our main job is to advertise for the company, whether in person, belly to belly, or on social media, which my team kind of takes on the social media role. Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media avenues you use, you can make money through those social media avenues advertising for this company. Instead of this company paying millions and millions of dollars in advertisements in magazines, on TV, on social media itself, um, on commercials, they pay us. Um, we have the gift of gab. So <laughs> whether you're shy or you're not, we teach you all of the tools and the tricks to actually use your social media platform, incorporate it into your everyday life so you don't come off spammy or sounding like a commercial every day, and just utilizing this business as a vehicle to create additional streams of income for yourself. We're not in the business to have people quit their nine to fives or to just fire their boss. But if that is your choice, we can work um, your way up to that if you choose to do so. We have a lot of people that love their nine to fives and I didn't. So my choice was to fire my boss, which I did. But you have top earners in this company that still love their nine to fives and are making great money. They just want additional streams of income. So speaking of income, we are going to get into the topic that you may have seen on our flyer, why the sacrifice is worth it. And the reason I titled that and discussed that with my partners um, who are going to also speak tonight is because the number one objection that we hear is that, oh, I don't have the money to sign up. Oh, maybe I have the money, but I have other priorities that I need to focus on first before I can fully commit or invest in myself by owning or starting my own business. So that's an objective that we want to talk about tonight because we've all been there. When we started, the whole reason for starting the business was because we needed extra money. So how do I have extra money to give to It Works when I'm struggling paycheck to three days before a paycheck? So we totally get it. So we just wanted to have a powerful, non-formal um, environment where we can discuss that with everyone and just allow everyone to kind of get a feel of how we felt when we started, how we had those similar or same, if not the exact same objections, and how we overcame those objections through the help of the person that brought us in. So I'm going to quickly introduce two of my business partners. Um, they are rock stars on my team, and they are signing people left and right. So I wanted to actually do this opportunity meeting with them so that we can discuss kind of what their struggles were coming in concerning money and how they found a solution to overcome that struggle. So anyone that's on here that's really wanted to join the business, but money is the only hurdle, we're going to help you jump over that hurdle on tonight. That sound good? All right. So first we have Miss Kelly King. Kelly and I have known each other for years and years and years and years and years. It just so happened that a distributor that I signed, um, Miss Janelle Bryant, she is a Ruby leader, brought Kelly into the business and showed her basically how to live a life of financial freedom and time freedom as well. Kelly, can you kind of give us a rundown um, of a little bit about what you did before it works. Hey guys, um, this is Kelly. Um, before it works, um, I'm a mom, 
and I'm in college, a full-time student, and I was also working two jobs, two part-time jobs before I started It Work. So the business was not even on my to-do list because I clearly didn't have, so I thought I didn't have the time to add on any extracurricular activities to my already busy life. So um, I kind of was in this place where I was just like, at this point, I'll just try whatever, you know, to get any extra assistance that I can because I really don't like to depend on people. So I was in a state where it was just like, you know, I just literally took that leap of faith and said, you know, I'm just going to go for it. You know, being a mom and not being fully committed to being there for him like I really wanted to and working two jobs and being in school, it was just tiring. I just needed an outlet to where I can be myself, be a mom be successful in my career that I wanted to go into and still be able to provide for my child at the same time. So that's where I was when I first found out about It Works. Okay, I had to unmute myself. So you're a single mom, you're in school. So we all know, or we may all not know, but I know being in college is pretty much a full-time job in itself, okay? You're broke, you don't have no money, you may have gotten <laughs> out of loans expecting those overage and refund checks to come through and save the day. But you mm -hmm. only got that, what, once a semester, it right. ends up being blown on clothes and booze and parties and nightclub outfits and all that stuff. So in books, of course. So we can understand how being in college, you already, you know, don't have the funds because you're either dependent on parents or again, you're waiting on those refund checks to come through. So I just want to know what made you curious or interested in the business itself? Like, what did you see that kind of sparked that curiosity for you? Well, I can say this. When I first was introduced to it works, it wasn't because of the business aspect. I was really looking for something to help me with my stomach. Um, somebody that wasn't even involved in the business, I guess they tried it themselves, the rap themselves. And I had posted a status years ago before I even started the business about wanting to tone up my stomach. So they were like, well, have you tried that rap thing? And, you know, I kind of brushed it off at first because I was like, a rap. I'm thinking they were going to tell me some kind of crunch to do or some kind of sit up or something. So I just blew it off. Like three years later, I saw um, one of my classmates, older sister, just happened to be Megan. She was doing her launch party, and, you know, I was like, you know, well, I'm going to just give it a try. You know, it won't hurt to try. $25, that's, that's nothing. You know, I'm already working two jobs. I'm, I'll get it back. So <laughs> I went to her launch party, and while I was rapping, I can, you know, feel the, the change going on while I'm rapping. So I'm more in tune in the rap than what she was kind of saying at first. And the thing that caught my attention was, well, girl, you know you can get paid just for sitting here and rapping. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, um, and at the time, I was already in a financial situation where it was just like, I had nowhere else to turn. So when she said that, I was already so like, you got me here working on my stomach. Then you say you're trying to put money in my pocket. I'm like, okay, you're just killing a bunch of birds with one stone. So, you know. Tell me, like, feed me more. I, let me hear, let me hear the rest of it. Let me hear all of it. So that's how I was sold into the business. You know, working on my physical body and my pocket. You know, I was all in. <laughs> awesome. So basically, you were introduced via the product first, which a lot of us actually aren't. Um, it's just mainly the business opportunity. So that's good that you were able to experience those awesome results to end up using that as a testimony for when you started. And then you were presented with the opportunity of, well, if you're going to try the products and get great results, why not make money sharing your right. testimony? You have people that advertise for restaurants and movies and you know, I just boosted up the show Power, right? Because I'm just getting on the Stars game. Just got my U-verse uh, installed. And I'm trying to catch up on Power. And I've been posting about it. And people have been like, oh, I need to get up on that too. Or, girl, I love that show. Power just got their ratings boosted because I posted on my wall. Right. But do I get a check from that? No. Do I get a check when I go to my favorite restaurant, Olive Garden, and... I post a picture of my chicken Alfredo that I always get because I never get anything else. And then someone goes to Olive Garden the next night on a date night. I don't get paid or get a check cut from Olive Garden for that referral. So in a business like this, when 
I know I need to lose weight. I know I need to get my skin clear. I know I need to get my energy up and I'm taking these products and there's a way for me to get coins out of the whole shebang. Okay, I'll take it. So I definitely understand where you were coming from now in the conversation of the business, Kelly. How did Janelle approach you about how to join? Because I know you asked. Most people ask, well, how do I get down with the boss base squad? Like, how do I get involved? How did she approach you with it? Like, when you heard about how much it was to get started, um, get your starter kit, actually invest in yourself, owning your own business, how did you feel or react when she told you, you know, it's only $99? What was $99 to you at the time? At the time, I knew nothing about multi-level marketing at all, except I've heard of, you know, Avon and Mary Kay, but I didn't know exactly the background to the business part. I just knew that they were out there. So when she bought, you know, the business part of It Works to me, and she was saying, oh, it's just $99. You know, you can make that investment right back. At first, I was like, only $99. You know, at the time, <laughs> I'll be real, I was like, only $99. I was like, you know, the business sounds good, but you caught me off guard with the $99. Mm -hmm. I said, but, you know, I, I really need the business. I have no other outlet. So, I mean, what, what more could I lose? Really, what more could I possibly lose? So, at the time, she was saying, oh, well, you know, it's only $99, and I can actually teach you you know, how to make my investment right back. And I trusted her. So, you know, I kind of already was like, okay, you know, I know you. And so I, I feel like if you, and I know friends, she was there. So I said, oh, it's Fran in it. It's Megan in it. Okay. You know, I'm kind of, I'm sold. So I was like, you know, give me some time to, you know, wrap my head around the only $99 part and let me get my money together. And then I will, um, I'm definitely going to call you. And then we're going to, you know, get this thing on the road. Okay, so you you had in mind that you wanted to be a part of it, right? It was kind right. of a purifier thing. And I think most of the people on here are like, I'm ready, I'm down. I've had people on here that are going to sign up, but still may still have that those wheels kind of like, okay, I know I was supposed to sign up here, but something happened and let's reschedule, which is totally fine. Cause I'm always like in God's timing, you're gonna sign up, not in mine, but in God's. So I always press the issue of, if it can't happen now, let's reschedule. Now in your situation, you knew you wanted to do it. You kind of had an idea of when you would have the funds. So you kind of knew it was coming, but tell us kind of what solutions were you either offered or what solutions did you come up for yourself to say, okay, I know I have this to pay. I know my check is going to be X and this amount minus this carried on. And I should have this amount left over by uh, next payday. So I'm going to set aside this $100 if it kills me. I'm going to do this. What solutions did you come up for yourself to make sure that when that next exposure came with Janelle, you had the money in hand and it wasn't a uh, well, let me just make sure um, I pay this first. You were prepared to pay that $99. What solutions did you come up for yourself? Um, at first, I said, I had literally just got paid the week before. So I said, the next pay week, I'm going to, you know, set aside that check and go right into the business and, you know, off that next check or whatever. So the next check came and some, you know, some things came up, of course. So I was kind of like, Okay, the next check. So, but I gradually save pieces of each check to mm -hmm. add up to my $99. So it's not like I took a whole check and, you know, said I'm going straight to the business. Because, you know, I had to prioritize, you know, with kids, my son and everything. So I literally pinched off of each check until it built up to my $99. And then that's when I was like, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so you didn't, you didn't think about it in like, a big chunk you actually say okay let me be smart about it and just know i get paid these amount of times or i'm get so and so and so owes me money so let me take that and put this in this little piggy bank you actually set a goal in small increment so it didn't seem like such a big feat because honestly you guys 99 dollars to some people seems like a million okay $99 to some seems like 10 cents. It just depends on where you are in life. And when you think about all the things that we spend 
$99 on or even 50 or 75, you, if you really go through your spending sheet and if you bank with Bank of America, they have a spending report. So you can go through and see what you're spending your, your money on um, and, and kind of think about what you can prioritize. But if we really think about what we spend $99 on hair, weave, nails, makeup, um, clothes, just clothes when we got a closet full of clothes with tags on, shoes, unnecessary gas, just riding around wherever your city is just because you bored, going to the movies, uh, excessive eating at restaurants. Like there's ways to cut back on that. And what Kelly did was she broke it up into small goals so it didn't seem like such a big feat. It didn't seem like an impossible thing because honestly, $99 isn't a lot of money. And it's not because I have money or Kelly has money or Anisha has money. We were broke when we started, like dead broke. So it's just, you have to be smart about it and kind of switch up your focus and switch up your priorities to really understand, okay, if I really need this business, I need this business more than I need a cheeseburger. I need this business more than I need a new fresh set of bundles. I need this business more than I need, you know, to take my kids to Baskin Robbins for 30 days. I can sacrifice something to set those funds aside periodically until I get to the point where I will have it all. In that way, when you join the business, you'll have a sense of accomplishment because you're like, I saved up for this. I didn't have to ask for it, borrow it, use a credit card, whatever. I took my cash, my liquid assets, saved it up to invest in myself. And when you're able to invest in yourself and not necessarily put all your coins in all these other businesses where these CEOs are getting rich, it's a good feeling when you can make that investment in yourself. And that is exactly what Kelly did. So Kelly, I'm going to ask you one last question. When you joined the business, did you make your full investment of $99 back? Yes or no? Oh, oh, wait a minute. You were breaking up. When you, when you joined the business, finally, did you make your full investment back? No, I made half of it back within like two weeks. Okay, so 50 bucks. So how right. long did it take you to make your full investment back? A month. A month. So think, that was about, <laughs> think about all these startup companies, you guys. All these startup companies, brick and mortar, mom and pop shops. Most of these companies, like mom and pop shops, have to invest 3000 5000 all the way to $20,000 into their mom and pop shops, okay? marketing um gas materials materials for products materials for their store where there's a restaurant set up whatever the cash register it's so much money they have to invest in up front and the average time that they'll make that money back in profit is one and a half to two years okay so kelly made her full investment back in a month I have people on this team that made their full investment back in the day. I've had people on this team make their full investment back before they started the business. And that's because they actually pre-sold the product that was in their kit. So they got the money in hand before they even purchased their business builder kit. Okay. So there are ways, and I believe everyone on here is very um, intelligent, very um, lucrative. There's ways that we can actually come up with the money or find ways to make it right back when you come into the business. Kelly made hers back in a month. So if you're thinking about the risk part of, well, when I come in, how am I gonna make my investment back? Will I make my investment back? I have the money, but I'm scared that I'm not gonna make my $100 back. Listen, you'll never know if you never try, okay? When I joined the business, I simply invited my friends to try the product in my kit. I made my investment back in a week. It could have been sooner, but my introductory party, which we call a launch party, was a week after I signed. So if I was really adamant, I could have made it back the same day. But that just goes to show that most of the people on here, especially if they're old heads like me and not newbies, they made their investment back one way or the other, whether it's been a day prior to them joining, a week in the business, a month in the business, two months in the business, you will make your investment back if you put the work in. And it's as simple as asking someone to try the product that comes in your kit. It doesn't hurt to ask.
So thank you so much, Kelly, for sharing your story. College student, single mom. She knew she wanted to be in the business. She didn't have the money up front, but she saved it. She did what everybody else should do if they want to buy something, a car, a house. What do you do? You save your coins, right? It's no different than the business, except you're actually doing something to invest in yourself. So find a solution, just like Kelly did. Kelly, was the sacrifice worth it? Yes, most definitely. <laughs> of course it is. I wish I had it before. <laughs> of course it is, because Kelly is up for not only another promotion, but she's up for a $10,000 bonus. So I would say 99 opposed to 10000 on top of commissions, I'll take that. Right. That seems like a, a, a simple uh, formula to me. It seems like a very wise formula to me. So thank you so much, Kelly, for sharing. I appreciate you coming on to, to talk to the people. <laughs> All right. So just to show you guys, when you come into the business, you're not going to be alone. Before you come into the business, you're not going to be alone. We just had a prime example of how one of our leaders, Janelle, help Kelly through her situation, help explain to her how to come into the business and rock it. Kelly came in and she rocked it and she made her investment right back. So answering that objection on Kelly's part, she had the money. Um, she just had to save it periodically to make sure that that investment didn't interfere with anything else she had, okay? So now we're going to move on to Miss Arnisha. Arnisha, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are y'all? Hold on. Let me take my uh, picture off. <laughs> <laughs> Arnisha yep. likes for us to see her wonderful bamboo background picture all the time. <laughs> I know. And my hair is not done. So, you know. Okay. Okay. I'm taking it, it off. All right, y'all. <laughs> uh, when I tell y'all we are so informal and laid back, like, it's, it's like the coolest team to be on. So, mm -hmm. we can't wait for everyone to join so we can all have fun on here together. So, Arnisha is one of my Ruby leaders. She is on fire. She is also eligible for our $10,000 um, bonus um, when she reaches actually our leadership level. So, Arnisha, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you did before it works as well. Um, hey, guys. I'm so glad everybody is on tonight. Um, well, before it works, I was actually um, operations manager for a retailer. Um, I'm still operations manager for a retailer, and I just do the business on the side. Um, so um, I saw Fancy on Instagram or on Facebook, and I reached out to her. Okay. So before you did It Works, you were already working full time. So we know you were busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. We know you had them checks rolling in bi-weekly every two weeks. So when we had a conversation, I kind of got some of your background. I knew what you did. I knew you were working. So tell us a little bit about our conversation and me explaining to you kind of how much the business can not only impact your life, but how small the startup fee was knowing that you worked. Because everybody's going to assume because you work, you have money, right? And that's not always the case. Because I work 58 hours a week and was still paycheck to three days before paycheck. So please don't get it twisted. Just because you have a job does not mean you have the extra income. So when we discussed the startup costs, how did, how did you kind of react towards that? Did you, did you know that you would be able to do it? Or were you like, mm, let me talk to the hubby first or let me see if I can borrow it or whatever? What were your thoughts? Girl, I probably should have talked to my husband about it, but I was so, like, one track mind. Like, um, when I thought about the business, I was actually just a couple of days before, I was like, God, you know, I really need to do something extra. I don't want to get another job because um, I am married and I do have a, we have a five year old son. And I didn't want to get a part time job because I already work a lot of hours with my full time job. So I was like, um, I needed some extra money. Um, we were getting ready to start looking for a house. And also, um, I have a lot of student loans from college. And so I wanted to be able to pay those off or start paying those down more. And so I was like, you know, I, maybe I'll go back to school. But then I was like, well, I already have a ton of student loans. So I really don't want to go back to school. Um, not at least until I've paid my other loans down. And so when I saw um, her post that day, um, I was like, you know, something just 
went off and I messaged her and was like, hey, I want information about it. We talked for a little bit and she told me how much it was. Um, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I can do that. Um, at the time, it was around Christmas time, so um, I didn't have the money to do it then because, you know, it was Christmas and, you know, you have all these things going on, all these activities and getting gifts for everybody. So it was probably like two weeks after Christmas and I was able to join with Fancy. And something that she doesn't know that I was actually sharing with one of my friends earlier um, is that even though I did have, a, I have a decent job. Um, that Christmas, I felt like I couldn't get everything that I wanted for my family. I couldn't get all the stuff that I wanted for my son and all the stuff that I wanted for my mom and my husband. And so I was like, you know, I'm making a promise to myself that this will not be me next year. And that was one of the main reasons why I pushed in the business. And this past Christmas, I was able to pay Christmas cash. I was able to get everything that, um, everything that I wanted to get for my family. And it just made me feel really good about, you know, being a part of the business. That is amazing. And girl, <laughs> you got to print me for these things before you share stuff. I don't know what to call <laughs> Because I left my tissue downstairs. <laughs> and I don't want my mascara to run. So I did not know that. And it's just such a joy hearing that the transformation from year one to year two, that you're able to do those things. And it's all because, thank you, honey. It's all because you said yes to the business and you didn't let the startup costs be the reason why you didn't pursue those dreams of financial freedom where you're able to do those things for your kids. You're able to not tell your kids, no, you don't have to sit there and struggle like everyone else. Because I don't save for Christmas and I've been horrible at that. I know people that <laughs> save all year for Christmas yeah. or Black Friday. And I'm just like, that's not my testimony. Like, <laughs> I don't have the discipline and the finance is one, but the discipline, I don't have discipline to save up for Christmas. But just knowing that the transformation from year one to year two, that I don't know if you saved or not, but the fact that you didn't have to count coins to go to Toys R Us. You didn't have to count coins to order from Amazon. You didn't have to count coins to go to, you know, the game, the game stops to get games. You just had the money there because of the sacrifice that you made to initially join the business. So again, if you work full time, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have the funds to start. You could be living paycheck to three days before a paycheck. And you just have to learn that you have to know what your why is. Anisha shared her why. And that's something else that I wanted to talk about tonight is what, how, how big was your why to actually push you to, to, pay the startup costs is your why bigger than your fear of failure is your why bigger than the investment that you have to make in the company my why is my kids and at the time my youngest was a toddler and I had to feed her I, I had to choose between groceries and gas okay that's the position that I was in and my why was my kids so when I started I had to figure out is my why not as important or not big enough for me to sacrifice 99 bucks knowing that I'm going to reap a big return off of this investment. You have to really know what your why is before you even come in the business. And with some of y'all, I haven't even asked your why. I just assume everyone has a why. But what is the reason that you would want to come into an opportunity like this? Is it because you want extra shopping money? Is it because your home is going into pre-foreclosure like mine was when I started? Is it because you have kids and you have to choose between the gas to go to work and the money to get groceries to feed them? You have to understand what your why is. Do you like to travel? Do you like the ability to just up and go to Jamaica or to London or to California or to the vineyards? You know, you have to know what your why is and then understand, am I going to let $99 investment keep me from making 2000 or more a month? Keep me from making 8000 or more a month? Keep me from making 30000 or more a month? How, how are you going to let that $99 investment affect your ability 
to actually have the financial freedom that a large percentage of us in this country or in this world don't have because we're simply too fearful to invest in ourselves with such a small, 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 small amount. Again, think about all the things you spend $99 on and think about how trivial those things are compared to the investment that you can make in yourself and it just become exponential in your life concerning your finances. So I think I wanted to ask you a last question, Arnisha. Um, do you regret your sacrifice? Do you regret at all paying the $99? Oh, you know, it wasn't... Because some people are like, you know, I paid in and it just didn't work out. Tell me why you don't regret or do regret your decision to pay that $99. Um, I definitely don't regret it. Um, and I honestly feel that if you do, um, if you do feel that way, like, um, hold on, my son just came in the bathroom. Hey, son! <laughs> his, um, his tooth is getting ready to fall out and he oh, won't yeah. let us and so he's like real cry baby <laughs> but um and that's another thing having those coins um to put <laughs> under the pillow because it was years i wasn't able to reward kylie for falling out teeth I, i'm telling y'all i was just that broke with a full-time job <laughs> so that's just another prime example but go ahead <laughs> honestly feel like if you come in the business and you put your all into it and the main thing is getting over the fear. Like, every when you start something new, you're going to be a little bit fearful. It's like if you went out and got a new job, you would be a little bit fearful because it's a new place. It's a new environment. But if you come into the business and you put that fear aside and really go after what you came here to do, I feel like, you know, we can all do really great things. I definitely don't regret um making that 99 investment, $99 investment, um, I was able to come in the business and um, I was able to hit the Ruby bonus and I made a bonus of $1,000 within my first like three months. That was not even on top of my commissions or our weekly bonuses. Um, and so it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. And I know a lot of, um, of us are on this call and we're you know, going for the next level. And, you know, we would like to take you guys along with us. So, you know, it's definitely worth it, guys. Put aside what you think your friend is going to say or what your family is going to say, because at the end of the day, it's about, about what you need for you. It's about what you need for your family. And it's not about what other people say. Other people are afraid to make that jump. So they will try to hold you back. So, I just want to say, you know, it's, it was worth the investment, and um, I really hope that y'all take that into consideration. I love it. Thank you for sharing that, Arnisha. Um, the only regret I have, and it shouldn't even be a regret, is that I didn't start sooner. Um, again, at the time I started, I was working full-time. I was making over 45000 a year. Just didn't manage my money right. And being a single mom of two, I didn't have the help that I needed. Didn't qualify for government assistance because I was making too much. Um, at the point where I was about to lose my house with two kids. And the pride for me is like, I'm not going back to stay with my parents because <laughs> we're like a family of achievers. So I'm like, if I dare ask my mom, can I move back with the girls? She like, um, what situation did you get yourself in? So at the time, I was literally like making money, but it wasn't mine. I had more month than I did money. I did, didn't even look forward to seeing how much I made at work because I knew it wasn't going to be mine. And when it started affecting my tithing, when it started affecting me paying bills, and then soon I got behind on the mortgage payment and realized like, I don't know where myself and my kids are going to be living because of the poor choices that I made. I knew instantaneously that when I saw this business online, I had to make a choice and I had to decide what solutions am I going to come up with to come up with this money. When I started this business, it was either the solution that I came up with um, was to call SCENG and say, listen, SCENG, I'm not going to have the money for three weeks. 
can I get an extension? And they actually granted me a two-week extension, you guys. So I had to come up with a creative way to say, listen, I don't have the money at all. Even though I'm getting paid a paycheck, I'm working nine to five, but I'm going to make this work because my why was greater than my excuse. Okay, you guys, they gave me an extension. I knew what date I had to pay it by, or it was lights out for all of us. And then bump having a house over our head. If we don't have lights, it's just all, all the more worse. So I started the business um, on a Friday, okay? I knew I would get my kit within three business days, three to five business days. I scheduled my lunch party for the next Saturday. So that gave me a whole week to get my kit, you know, drop the business and post about it, share my excitement, because I really was excited to get started because I knew what breakthrough I was about to have financially. And then the next Saturday, I had my launch party, had four people try the product in our kit, which is our infamous body wraps, home of the body wraps. And I actually had four people purchase the wraps and I made my full investment back of $100. So I actually profited $1. So just knowing that I essentially started for free is what gave me the drive. It made me understand that <clears throat> investing in myself, if I really take that investment in myself and capitalize on it and push for it and set small goals like Kelly did, I had a goal that I wanted to make my investment back within the first month. Once I made my investment back, it just came all the more real to me that I can make this work. I didn't feel a feeling of defeat because I gave away $100 and never got it back. So if you have that fear that, oh, $99 is a lot of money for me right now, considering I have bills and I'm going back to school or my kids are going to college, whatever your situation may be, you are about to join a team that's going to teach you how to make that investment right back. We're all about profit. We're not about people joining and then coming in and failing. If you fail, it's because you quit. Okay, you guys? So when you come in, you're going to have a team of people that's been where you are, that's had the same reservations, that's been in the same um, situation you've been, that's been in the red, just like you. Now we're in the black. So because we're in the black and we're reaching financial freedom and financial goals that we have, we're able to teach other people how to overcome their own excuses, their own objections, and to really ultimately get over that fear of not making their investment back and the fear of just getting ways to come up with the money. We have um, a couple in our company that are called Black Diamonds. They average $100,000 a month in income. Okay, you guys, $100,000. It would take it would have taken me three years to make that with my corporate job and mortgage. They're averaging a hundred thousand a year, and how they were able to get started was they sold a couch, a couch, you guys. So the the ways that we're gonna come up tonight are solutions that you can have if you're in that situation. They sold a couch. There are lots of ways that you can go through your house and see what you can sell. Shoes, like I've sold shoes on Facebook. I've sold old decor. I'm switching up my colors in my house. I've sold old decor and made a good $300 off of that. That's three kits right there, you guys. Think about those things that you can do to make that quick change. If you have family members that are supportive, ask them for a loan. Just say, hey, you know, I got this um, crazy business venture that has been pulling on my heart is tugging on my spirit, and I just know how good and successful I'd be at it. Do you mind investing in me as your family member, as your friend? And as soon as I make my investment back in this business, I'm going to pay you back. And if you want to pay it with interest, go for it. That'll trust, have them trust you even more to actually do what you said you're going to do and come through, and it's going to give you that motivation in your business to actually make it work. So you have a drive already coming in. Um, get a credit card. We have top earners in here who started with a credit card. If you have one, it has a balance, you know, pay for your kit. And of course, when you get your investment back, pay the credit card off because we're all about being debt free, you guys, <laughs> not creating more debt. But that's just an example of the sacrifices that you can make. Just be responsible once you come into the business and make that investment back. Be responsible. Work your business. It's your business to work. You're in business for yourself but you're not in business by yourself. So when you come in, be responsible with that investment you made. Don't come in, spend all your coins, and then don't do anything because that's where the regret is gonna come in at. 
those are just examples of things that people in this company have done to get started in the business. And we just wanted to share some of those things with you guys because we know that is a big objection is the money. It's the money. But guess what, guys? If you don't choose to make that sacrifice, you're going to be in the same situation you was in before. So why not just take a risk, trust yourself, believe in yourself, and know that if you make this one step with the team that you have on this Zoom tonight, and this is not all of us by any means. On here, we have people all the way in Minnesota, Canada. We have a distributor in Italy. We're all over. You can connect with any one of us, and we'll be able to help you on your journey once you get started. So you just have to get over that hurdle, and we're going to start on the starting line with you and help you jump over that hurdle. Okay, you guys? So I just want to thank everyone for not only just being on the Zoom and just taking time out of your night to sit down with us um, over the, the video chat and just kind of talk things out, but just making the decision to join um, join the team because this is a wonderful team. Like we're we're not business partners. We're more like family. And you have a lot of people that say that. But <laughs> behind the scenes, it's, it's just cool. It's just relaxed and it's just laid back and we all really support each other. You just have to get over that hurdle of trusting that it's going to work for you. If you work for it, it will work for you. And you have, again, a whole host of people that's going to have your back. So, Arnisha, Kelly, did you have anything else to add before we close out on tonight? Um, sorry. Um, I just just wanted to say thank you guys for jumping on tonight, um, for taking time out of your evening to spend a little bit of time with us. And I hope that you get back to whoever sent you to this call um, so that we can discuss a little bit more about you being a part of the Boss Babe Squad. Definitely. So we're going to have a drawing in a little bit. Kelly, did you have anything to add? Um, not really much. I just, you know, I close down with everything you guys said. Just remember that the only thing that's going to be for you. So if you want to continue to stay where you are now, you know, that's, that's you. But at the end of the day, you know, you have a wide open field out there ready for you to explore. So don't be stable. You know, take that leap of faith because at the end of the day, it's going to definitely be all worth it. So we're looking forward to have you guys on the Boss Bay Squad doing big big major thing yes we welcome you with open arms i have some people joining this weekend i have some people joining next week as well as some other my boss way squad members have some people joining so y'all get in while the getting in is good listen we have a bunch of bonuses out and the sooner you join the longer time you have to earn them so don't wait until later on this year this summer because it's going to be less time for you to earn these amazing bonuses and we want everybody to get coins we're going to be securing tons of bags this year you guys so we want everybody to secure those bags with us so we can just proclaim that this is the business of really um being debt free and just living um a life of fun friendships and freedom so if you have any questions like i said get back with the person that invited you tonight and i want to um go ahead and end my facebook live thank you all for joining if you have questions inbox me all right, so is anyone else on the call that joined after we started talking?